What is going on everyone? Today we are unboxing and reviewing the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 headset. This is a new headset that Turtle Beach just came out with and they sent it to us to do a product review and showcase for it. Um, if you haven't checked in our last video, we did the Stealth 500. You can check that in the description below. Uh, make sure to check that one out. So this one's more of an upgraded version of that. There's a lot more features in it, which means more money to spend, but overall experience is supposed to be better. So like the Stealth 500, there is 40 hours battery life but stealth 600 there's 80 hours of battery life which is already an upgrade this one has ai ai mic noise reduction obviously has wireless um and bluetooth connectivity for when you want to go on mobile playstation or nintendo switch or pc um this is not compatible with xbox for some reason it's not i don't know why maybe it actually is it's just not advertised as that so this is supposed to be more of a lightweight headset still I'm actually excited to try it. It looks definitely like a premium headset compared to the last one we did. Um, I think this one might be overall better, but let's check out the way it looks and feels. All right, so the packaging is a little bit different than the Stealth 500, which let me try to get this out. There we go, stuff's flying out of here. Um, obviously you get your USB-C cable to charge it and everything like that, and then a quick guide. Um, you also have to like install the latest firmware um, on turtlebeach.com slash swarm, slash swarm two, and then the swarm, I think there's regular swarm as well for the other ones. Um, so there's that. And obviously we have the, um, the USB stick to plug into the console or PC. Here is the headset. Her, uh, packaging's actually pretty great. I, I can't complain about the packaging for a Turtle Beach's products, which also is always good because you don't know sometimes what you're getting in the store. You can find these at Walmart, Amazon, TurtleBeach.com, all those good stuff, all that good stuff. So, um, oh, there's something in here. All right, so from the looks of it, the, the microphone is still like the same size. Personally, I wish it was a little bit bigger, um, like I said in the last video, but that's not like a huge thing to knock a, a product off like this. Um, so there's like the same features as the other one, but it's a little displayed differently, um, like adjusting the volume and like, um, you know, in-game volume and voice chat, and there's the modes and there's the Bluetooth um, connectivity, and there's obviously the power button. So I'm gonna try it on and see how it feels. Let me, I have a big head, so let me extend it. Um, the greatest thing about these headsets is that they're glasses friendly and they made it specific in their marketing to put that it's glasses friendly because like me, if you're like me and have glasses and wear headsets, sometimes you get in the way, you gotta adjust your glasses. So far, these are really comfortable, which I know is really important, especially if you're playing games nonstop with your friends or just where to listen to audio in game, like playing Apex, Call of Duty, Halo. Um, but so far it feels great. What matters to me is how it actually functions when uh, using it. So stay tight, I'll be right back and I'm gonna let you know how the product is. All right, everyone, it is time for the review portion of the Stealth 600 Gen 3 headset. And so from my experience, I've been using it for like three weeks in a row, I want to say. Almost a month, honestly, at this point. I've been very late with this review. I apologize about that. I have the re written review available on RectifyGaming.com. The link will be in the description below. And overall, it's a really good headset. For $100, I think it's really well. I've been using it a lot on PC. Yeah, I could use it on PlayStation 5, which I have. Um, it's not bad. The transmitter, the transmitter, like on the Stealth 500, is the same way. You just connect it, and I leave it in my PC because I do gaming uh, stuff on here as well. I game a lot on my PC. I just find it more convenient for myself. But um, this, the, the Turtle Beach headsets are made for consoles as well. Um, you know, PC and mobile. It's available for any. Uh, device that you can game on so from my overall experience right away compared to the 500 is the top right here it's uh more secure and there's not an opening it's just a straight line like right over here it's more secure it feels more durable it feels less likely to break obviously look how big my head is i'm stretching it right here um and 
the ear cushions used for like the actual headphones are really comfortable. It doesn't bother me. And as you see, I wear glasses. And now I know a lot of you wear glasses. You may even wear gunners. And gunners are great for gaming as well. And the turtle pages will go hand in hand with the gunner. It won't bother you. You won't have to move your glasses. You won't feel uncomfortable. Like in other headsets, I've definitely felt uncomfortable while playing games. And that's the least of your worries. So with this headset, it just it's designed for that. And it's really good. Um, it's like, like I said, comfortability is nice. Performance is great. I really think as far as audio, it, it's really well done. Um, and like, I'll show you guys shortly on the swarm Two app, you can edit, uh, the levels of audio, even your mic. There's a, another option on here with the stealth 600 compared to the 500 where you can edit like the mic volumes itself, which I'll show you guys that in a little bit. And I like playing games. Like I was even playing multiverses with this the audio is great. Not that you need really good audio for games like that but if you're playing fortnite which i have um and other first person shooters is really well and um you get very clear audio and the cancellation is great too like if someone is talking to me in the same room i won't even be able to hear a damn thing knows no distractions so let's go on to the swarm app demonstration let's just, let's go on to there and i'll show you guys what this is all about so kind of like the stealth 500 you get all these features you get edit with the superhuman hearing, you have, I think it's a little bit more options. You got foot, footsteps, uh, gunshots, so um, you could raise those up like I have there. And um, really cool, the sensitivity, monitoring, noise gate. You can mute the microphone if you want. Um, not, not the biggest fan of the microphone. I have it right here. I'll show you guys what it sounds like in a little bit. And if you scroll down, so this is where it becomes a little bit different to Swarm 2 app when it comes to the Stealth 600 is this where i guess the value comes in with the hundred dollars on top of um the actual like structure of the headset so you could create custom presets so i could create a preset right now like let's just mess around for a little bit like i'm it's going into editing and all that create a custom preset and there you go i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna save it to like a uh, video because i'm making a video right now and that will get saved and then like let's say i'm playing video and um not a greatest example but you can set it to there so you don't have to worry about always changing it so that's really cool um you have the vocal boost you have the treble and bass boost like the other headset has the bass boost the turtle beat signature sound um then you have the mic stuff then you can sound smooth have clarity there's full and the signature sound um and some nice features there uh, for you guys to mess with. You're basically handle, you're handed the keys to the headset to make it your own. You're not dealing with any preset stuff. You get to change a lot of the features on the headset, which is cool. And this is a little bit different. So this is like what you have on the side over here. Yeah, it's on the, uh, it's on my left side. I always had to double check. But it's actually really good. Um, so if you hit mode... Yeah, like you know you can choose um the different modes here when you like when you hit mode on your thing and uh the volume is important too and you change that um the bluetooth connectivity or wireless connectivity we all know that it's all good stuff there going down here my battery status at 25 percent still the battery life on this headset is honestly the best i've ever had with the wireless headsets um i normally get worried with charging but charging is fast long life battery and with the stealth 600 you get 80 hours of battery life which is awesome it's something that i love a lot about this you don't have to worry constantly about charging and if when you do charge it's like not that long either um hotkeys of course on your keyboard select hotkeys if you need to mute um turn off the super human hearing which is also a really good feature uh, feature and um the muting the mics and uh, all that good stuff and I guess the transmitter, transmitter, you could edit the um, LED brightness, but mine's on the back of the PC, so I can't even see it. That's okay. And there's like auto shut off and all this other good stuff, pop up battery notifications to make sure while you're playing on PC also, or on mobile, because there is the Swarm app on mobile that you could use if you're gaming on mobile, which is really cool. Overall, that's the Swarm 2 app. And I would say if you have the extra $20 uh, to upgrade from the 500 to the 600, you should. Um, in just a second, I'm going to talk through this microphone and show you how, how it sounds. All right, everyone. I am talking through the Stealth 600 Gen 3 headset. Obviously, the quality won't be as good as my video microphone that I use, which is a couple more hundred dollars than this headset, obviously. Um, it does its job. I think that's all it, you really needed to do to communicate with uh, teammates, friends, or whatever. Um, 
or if you're someone who likes the game solely, you don't have to worry about the microphone. Um, other than that, uh, I am talking through it. If this sounds good to you, that's great. If you have any other questions about it, let me know in the comments. And I am going to switch back to the video. All right, so I'm back with my video microphone. You, you heard the little uh, segment there. Um, what I don't like about this microphone is not necessarily how it like performs. I really feel like it's no, there's no flexibility as I'm trying to bend it. I kind of like it like a tiny bit longer so I can see where the microphone is. Maybe if that like it's too small, and I feel like maybe closer to my face. I don't know, but then again, people can hear me eat and things like that, so maybe that's why. Um, but it does its job, and that's important. And for $100, this is the best one on the market as far as wireless gaming headsets. And until Turtle Beach comes out with like a Stealth 700 Gen 4 or whatever they want to do, I'm sure it'll be really good. And this is just another reason why to keep investing in the Turtle Beach um, products. And also, I will say, I can't tell you about how long I could have this for, like the durability that's on personally, the person. Like, you know, I know when I was 12 years old, I had Turtle Beach headsets, which... The reason why they broke is probably because of me, not because of Turtle Beach. So, uh, great headset. You should all think about purchasing one. Hit that like button, comment below, and I will see you guys next time.